All right, it says, Mom, can we go at the library and check out some books? I asked. What's the tagline? Where's the tagline? Remember, the tagline tells who's speaking, right? So what is the tagline there, Izzy? No, that's the speaking part. What the tagline tells us who said it. Who is saying it? Who is asking? Tagline, give it to me. I asked. I asked, of course. That's the tagline, yes. All right, so now, Mom, can we go at the library and check out some books? Izzy, help me figure that out. What should it be? Yes, let's get that figured out. Good job, Iz. Mom, can we go to the library? Library? Uh-oh. Library. 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 Give me the spelling on that. Should be library, right? L I B R A R Y. Mom, can we go to the library and check out some books? I asked. So it was a question what kind of punctuation do we need at the end? James Jordan. We need a question mark. Yes, we need to insert a question mark instead of a period there. Yes, indeedy. Huh? Are you screen casting? Yes. That's cool. I'll, I'll stop by. No, no, no. I'm, I'm running. Gotcha, gotcha. You're testing. Okay. So, Mom, can we go to the library and check out some books? I asked. I think we're good. Now, we know the tagline is I asked. Where, then, is the speaking part? The speaking part. What part is actually being spoken? Evan. Evan, what marks can you go up? Can you go up and show me what marks were used to, to identify a speaking part? Can you just point to them? Right quick. Real, real quick. Well, yep, that's right. Evan, for the record, had pointed at that and at that. Yes. Quotation marks. Very good. All right, let's try the next one. Mom said, yes, but you have to get ready quick because it closes soon. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That is a mess, 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 mess. All right. What do we do? How do we? All right. First of all, who can tell me, Izzy? Izzy, can you tell me where the tagline is in this? I'm going to read it all. You tell me the tagline. Taglines tell us who said what. Ready? Mom said, yes, but you have to get ready quick because it closes soon. Which, which part of that tells us who said what? No. Yes, but you have to get ready quick because it closes soon. Who said that? How do you know that? That's the tagline. Right? That's your tagline. Moms, and you you just fixed one for us. That should be mom said, right? Now, how do we separate the tagline from the speaking part? What punctuation do we need? Everybody look up at that. You're not going to get it by looking at your shoes. What punctuation do we need to separate the tagline, mom said, from the speaking part? Yes, but you have to get ready quick because it closes soon. Come on, what punctuation? I need everybody. I need everyone. No, no, not quotation marks. A what? Comma. A comma. We need a comma here to separate this tagline from the speaking part. All right, mom said yes, but you have. Uh, would it be half? No. It should be half. Yes, but you have to get ready. And what do we need at the end of this? What suffix? What suffix do we need at the end of quick? Me. L, -Y. L, -Y. Me. L Y. Now let's read it again. Mom said, yes, but you have to get ready quickly because it closes soon. I don't see anything else. Uh, oh, no, I do. I sure do. Yes, go. You are my hero. Now, where does the period go? Does it go here? Or does it go inside the quotation mark? It goes under it. It goes under it. It goes inside the quotation mark. So 
you're going to have to do this. Remove the quotation mark, slide it out, and then put the period in here. All right, thank you. Yeah, so mom said, yes, but you have to get ready quickly because it closes soon. Now we're in business. Wow, lots wrong with that, huh? So let's yeah. see, we had, now who could tell me where the speaking part is? Layla. Yes, but it closes soon. Yes, you have, to get, you have to get ready quickly because, because, because it closes, closes soon is the speaking part. What it, what we, here's what we use to identify a speaking part. We call these quotation marks. So it looks like we have, for the first one, we had one, two, three. We had three in the first one. And for this one, we had one, two, three, four, five. So three and five. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take a look. It says use context clues. Guess what? We're gonna figure. We're gonna use these today. We're gonna really get on it today. Ready? It says use context clues to figure out the meaning of the bold word and write the meaning on the line. When we got to the library, Mom told me to ask the librarian for my own library card. So here's the unknown word, librarian. Right. So here are my clues. We're going to ask something. We're at the library and we're getting a library card. Who, what do you think a librarian is? A person who works. Come on, Layla. A person who works in a library, right? Yep. I put someone who helps at a library. Yeah, that works. All right, you ready? The Latin root sign means to mark. Complete the sentence with the word that has to, the root word sign. The librarian gave me a piece of paper and asked me to write my your clues. Write my age, signature, or weight. Everyone? Signature. signature. Yes, and right here you see the word, the Latin root sign, right? Signature means like this right here. Okay, that's the signature. All right, there we go. That is your DLR week nine, day three in the books today.